Okay, so you should have written a paragraph interpreting the artwork. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to interpret the artwork. Hopefully that your interpretation sounds a little bit like my interpretation. Although, uh, interpretations should be different. You know, if 30 people look at this artwork, you know, there should be 30 different interpretations. Or, uh, you know, some things that people might disagree on. Is, and with the interpretation, as long as you can point to something in the picture that backs up what your interpretation is, it is correct. There is no wrong answer as long as you can back it up. For example, if I talked about how this painting is about the space program and I could point to things in the picture that remind me that, that or reasons why I think it's about the space program, then, uh, then that would be correct. But when I interpret this painting, Christina's World, it looks very gloomy to me. All the colors that are in here, the grays, the browns, the brownish grays, the grayish browns, and even the faded pink is very gloomy. The house is gray. The sky is gray. The, the grass is gray. And so it's not a very happy picture. Um, the other thing that I think about, like when I look at her, her position and how she's in the grass, a lot of my students think that she's running from something that's scary and she's fallen or she's running away from the houses. Uh, I get a lot of that. <coughs> um, so uh, some of my students come up with stories that uh, she's been abused in the house or that it's, this is some sort of scenario like Texas Chainsaw Massacre and she's running from a killer with a chainsaw. Um, I get a lot of that uh, with my students. Um, what else? When we, when we do this uh, project with a textbook, there's a misprint in the book and there's this green ink right there and it looks like a glowing green light and so some of my students pick up on that and they come up with some kind of alien scenario um and this reminds me a little bit my uncle has some property and the grass is almost always brown in, in on his property and and when i go and walk around it i see this reminds me a little bit of that so i can bring in my own like uh, uh, my own memories of, of things that have happened to me into this painting. What else have students talked about with this painting? That's pretty much what most students really go for, is that it's a gloomy picture, it's a sad picture, it's depressing, and, uh, and, and that's what a lot of my students talk about when, when we do this interpretation exercise. I am going to move on to the, the last set, uh, the last step of art criticism which will be judgment so here we are judgment you can tell it's judgment because of the judgment is written up here in the upper left hand corner and with judgment i want you guys to decide whether or not it's a good work of art and you know did the artist uh convey a message was the artist skillful you know is it realistic um is it does it set a mood does it you know does this artwork make you think does uh and, and is it are the people proportional you know was the artist good at like uh drawing or painting people and did it take a lot of skill to make this painting and look at the individual blades of grass you know uh did it take a lot of skill to do that or the skill to to paint the the houses um, and then the other thing I want you to think about with this work of art is that, did you like it? You know, do you, do you like this artwork? I want to emphasize that it's perfectly okay that you don't like a good work of art and it's perfectly okay that you do like bad artworks. So remember that just because you like something doesn't mean it's good or bad. And just because something is good or bad, good or bad doesn't mean you have to like it or dislike it. So that's what I want you to do right now is I want you to judge this artwork. And this time, instead of writing seven lines, uh, I want you to write uh, just 
four lines. So give me about what seven times four is what twenty eight. Uh, give me a little twenty eight word uh, paragraph. You can go over, but don't go less about your judgment of this work of art. Here are it is uh, something you can read through to um, help uh, help uh, uh, stir your memory of what to write about for judgment. Yeah, and the final thing is, would you hang this artwork in your house? That's another thing to discuss with judgment. Okay, I'm going to let you off with that, and then we'll come back with uh, a final video.